Hey there guys, welcome back to another video of all things Apple Plus. I wanted to give you guys just a quick tutorial today on what happens, I just released a video about iOS 13.5.1, but what happens if you do update and you really don't know how to downgrade? Well, I wanted to show you guys in just in brief uh, just how to go ahead and do that. I wanted to just give you guys just a really quick tutorial. Should be really fast, but let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first and foremost, I got my iPad Pro here. And if we launch up settings, we do see that iOS 13.5.1 is prompted for us to download and install. So say we want to go ahead and download and install. I'm going to go ahead and punch in my passcode real quick. Perfect, so it's gonna go ahead and install iOS 13.5.1. Now, just in brief recap while this is installing, uh, I definitely wanted to talk to you guys real quick that if you guys, if you want to jailbreak your devices, do not update to iOS 13.5.1. This fixes a vulnerability patch in iOS 13 point or patches of vulnerability in iOS 13.5 and iOS 13.5.1 will not allow you to jailbreak. So do not update. This is the best way to downgrade. And this tutorial will show you how to downgrade from 13.5.1, but I would really recommend just not updating at all. Make sure that you do turn off the automatic updates like I have at the bottom right here. Make sure that it is, that is done. So we're gonna go ahead and allow this to update. And then I'm gonna show you guys real fast how to take iOS 13.5.1 and downgrade all the way back to iOS 13.5 and then we'll jailbreak from there. All right, guys, so we have the updated started. So we completely fi finished and downloaded iOS 13.5.1. We're gonna go ahead and hit the install now button. It's gonna go ahead and verify the update and it's gonna go ahead and update our iPad from iOS 13.5 to 13.5.1. Remember, this is something that you are not to do if you are going to jailbreak. Make sure that you stay on iOS 13.5. The only reason why I'm doing this is for the actual basis of showing you guys in uh, just a little tutorial on how to downgrade from 13.5.1 back to iOS 13.5. So as you can see here, iPad's shut off, it should reboot, and we should see iOS 13 or iOS 13.5.1 being reloaded back onto our device. Now, a couple of things that I wanna also add in the background too while I'm downgrading back to iOS 13.5 and while this is updating at the moment, is that I've also backed up my iPad too. So if there is something that if you want to uh, save or that you wanna have on your computer, make sure that you guys do back up your iOS device. And mind you, this cannot be done. This whole process cannot be done without a computer. You definitely need to have a computer for this. So as we're going to update, I also wanna advise you guys too that the signing window for iOS 13.5 is gonna be short. I know that, I, that Apple is gonna release a new OS. iOS 13.5 is gonna be unable to be signed and you're, unfortunately, you're gonna be stuck at where you're at. So please, I really implore you that if you are looking to jailbreak, I would recommend, at, and you maybe you're on teetering on just the fence of whether or not you wanna jailbreak or if you wanna keep your regular OS, I would really recommend to anybody who is trying to do this, just turn off the automatic updates, stay on iOS 13.5, and just wait it out. If you wanna jailbreak, it's there. You can always restore back to rootfs. If you don't wanna jailbreak, but you're still kind of pondering and thinking about it, just hang tight. Just don't even turn on the automatic updates. It's the best thing that you can do by navigating over into settings and into updates and then turning off your automatic updates. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and let my iPad run. It's gonna go ahead and restore back to iOS 13.5.1 and then we'll show you the whole downgrade process from there. Alrighty guys, so we have a finally installed iOS 11 point, or excuse me, 13.5.1 on our iOS devices. Let's go ahead and unlock our, our device here. We're gonna go ahead and navigate over to settings to about. And as you can see here, we're on iOS 13.5.1. This is the official firmware that is going to break or is not gonna allow you to jailbreak and you will not be able to use the Uncovered app on this firmware. So, let's say you're on your device, it's currently at iOS 13.5.1. How do you navigate and how do you get this back down to iOS 13.5? Like I've said before, what you're going to need to do is you're gonna need a PC or a Mac for this. And you will need to navigate over to IPSW.me and download your official firmware that is going to downgrade you back to iOS 13.5 at this moment in time 
Mind you, the signing window for 13.5, just like any application out there that gets revoked from time to time, will be revoked and you will not be able to restore it back to 13.5. So make sure that you do that right now. So what I'm gonna do is now that we have our device set up right here, with everything, you know, uh, as far as our device goes, we have it backed up. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna navigate back over to the computer and I'm gonna show you from there how to downgrade from iOS 13.5 via my Mac. Okay guys, so we're here on our computer and I have two windows. I have Finder on my right and then Safari on my left and I wanted to show you IPSW.me. IPSW.me is an amazing site that will allow you to download any OS update for free for any iDevice. So whether it be your iPhone, your iPad, your iPod Touch, your Apple TV, it will allow you to download any signed app OS that's currently working at the moment. So iOS 13.5 is currently being signed. And so I have that downloaded. It was about, about four gigs in size. So what I did is I preemptively downloaded this prior before you know showing you guys. So I wanted to make sure that I had the actual IPSW ready to go. So I'm gonna drag it down to the corner here. And then what I have here is, and, and I also have iTunes or I actually have Finder currently up. So I'm gonna show you guys before we hit restore iPad, we're gonna hit the option button. But while we hit the restore button, I do wanna make sure that you guys know that you must turn off find my phone. So any find my, make sure that you guys do turn that off and make sure that it is checked off. So that way we can go ahead and proceed. Once turned off and finally done, let's go ahead and hit option and we're gonna hit restore iPad. And from there, it should bring up and it should populate a menu or an options to be able to select the actual IPSW file that we can use. So we're gonna choose the 13.5 IPSW here and we're gonna click open and that will start to downgrade our device to iOS 13.5 and restore it with factory default settings. So everything that you've backed up, make sure, obviously, before you do any of this, make sure that, again, you do back up your iDevice. That way, when you do restore, when you get back down to iOS 13.5, you will have the ability to just to restore or back up, or restore from your backup everything that you've lost. So make sure that you guys do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy run, and then we'll be right back. Alrighty guys, so coming back from our computer, I did, I wanted to actually go ahead and kind of transition back from the actual computer mode back over to my iPad. Now from here, it is now in starting to inject iOS 13.5 onto our devices. So we're gonna go ahead and let this guy load. This will go ahead and install. And like I've said before in this tutorial, make sure and understand and know that iOS 13.5 is a signed firmware that will not always be signed. That once you, it is completely, uh, once it's completely gone and done with and it's no longer being signed by Apple, this process will not work. Mind you, this process will work with other firmwares later on in the future, and I'll do more videos and tutorials on those different OSs in the future, but just know that this is a OS that is, I'm sure, that is going to be wiped from Apple very soon, and we should probably see iOS 13.5, if not this week, I can imagine next week just being completely wiped away. So please make sure that you guys view this at the, as soon as possible and get this thing done and make sure that you guys downgrade. If you are on iOS 13.5.1, down to iOS 13.5. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this guy load, and then we're gonna come right back to it. Alrighty guys, so it has officially been restarted. We're currently on iOS 13.5. Let's go ahead and get this guy set up. So we've been restored back to iOS 13.5. We are gonna do, you know what? For the sake of it, let's do a little quick start and we'll set up with the new iPad here. We'll hit connect. I gotta say, I love this feature on the iPad and on, oh, on iOS just in general. We're gonna finish up on the new iPad. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead and punch in just our simple passcode here. Awesome, so we are going to, let's see here, let's not transfer apps or data for right now. We're gonna go ahead and hit agree. Go ahead and continue. We'll set up Apple Pay a little bit later in settings. 
Not now. All right, let's go ahead and hit trust. Go back up and perfect. We have iOS 13 back or iOS 13.5 back on our, on our on our device. So let me go ahead and turn up the screen volume real quick on that guy. Go to settings and then let's go ahead and go into about and run iOS 13.5. So let me zoom in real quick and show you guys that we are on, in fact, iOS 13.5. As you can see there, iOS 13.5 currently installed. We're going to go ahead and just not turn on Wi-Fi calling for right now. But there you guys have it iOS 13.5.1 downgraded to iOS 13.5 so that way we can initiate the jailbreak. Now from there, if you want to jailbreak, you can view my other jailbreak tutorial videos. I do have them linked in the description down below, so make sure that you guys do check that out. So if you guys did like this video, if you did find it informative, and if it helped you out in downgrading, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions, concerns, problems, and I'll be more than happy to assist you in the comment section down below. But from all things Apple Plus, I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.